I've been testing this water well for about a year now. Today I'm going to tell you whether or not I think it's worth purchasing. I've been testing this product for about a year now, maybe a little bit more than a year. I've shared it with you several times in live streams, but it's time to really show you everything that makes this little water well amazing. This water well and the little brush cleaners were provided to me by Paint Puck. I did not purchase these on my own, but the opinions I'm sharing are my own. So just for transparency there, and I will have links to these items in the video description. Now for both the brush cleaner and just the water well itself, the base of it, where you wipe your brushes to clean them when you're rinsing them in the water, it's very, very rubbery. And I wasn't sure I was going to like that long term, which is part of why I did test this for as long as I did. And then the, the I can use that excuse for about three to six months. The rest of it was just... I'm lazy. So now as I tested this, I really wanted to know if it was going to cause any damage to the brush. It felt grippy and I was worried that that rubbery base would kind of grip too much to the bristles and pull bristles out. I am happy to report I have had no damage to the brush and they clean so well. They do such an amazing job of getting the paint out of your brush. Now the top section has a part I like and a part that I find to be fairly useless. The part that I really like is this squeegee at the top for getting the water out of the brush. Now obviously you wanna rinse all of the paint out that you can get from the brush before you do this. You don't wanna load the squeegee area full of water or of paint, but look at how you can use that just to wipe that water up out and I find myself using that so much more than I would have expected and they've got the little small small round section that you can use for smaller brushes and then of course the bigger side edge that you can use for your larger brushes for getting some of that water out of course you can dry some on your paper towel but it was kind of a nice way to get some of that water out first before I used my paper towel I was able to make my paper towels last longer because I am getting more water out before I use them for the portion that I find to be fairly useless, and all water wells do this for some reason, they put these little areas on the outside of the water well where you can store your brushes. If you store them upright like this and the brush is wet, that water from the bristle will run down into the area that is holding the bristles into place. There's glue in there. You don't want water just soaking down into that area. So I do not recommend letting your brushes dry like this. It's just not good for them. The other way that I've seen people use this is to put them upside down and not just just this one specifically, just water wells in general. I've seen where people set the brushes upside down so that the bristles are down touching the bottom and it, it will damage your brushes, just like leaving them soaking in water. You don't wanna damage those bristles. So I recommend when you are using any water well, rinse your brush out and lay it flat to dry. Don't leave it upright or upside down. It's just not a good habit to get into if you want your brushes to last longer. Now, if you prefer to use your own container like a mason jar or what you'll see me use in just a moment that I use for my colored pencils, you can get these little brush cleaners that have a suction cup at the bottom and they stick to the bottom of the cup. These worked way better than I thought they would. So here's the one I have in the mason jar. This one's dried out, so the cleaner is just kind of loose. But as soon as I add water and push that back down into place, it, the suction cup has worked. And I've been, again, using this for about a year now. I really like this one in the mason jar for when I'm using ink tents. I don't know why. I just like the smaller jar for that. I have no explanation other than I'm weird. Then we've got the smaller paint pucks. Now these ones, they say too, that you can use them with paint thinner. I was a bit concerned about that. I had read some reviews where people said, oh, they fell apart. So I thought, well, I'm really gonna try this. I'm gonna test it out for a while. So I stuck it in my container with paint thinner. This is the Mona Lisa Odorless Paint Thinner. I've also used it with Gamsol into my container I use for colored pencils. And you can see it did swell up. It absorbed a lot of the paint thinner. It's much larger than it was, but I've been using that Thing for over a year now in there. There has been no damage to the paint puck. It's not falling apart at all, or the, the brush cleaner. It's worked out really, really well. So it's worked with water and with, with the paint thinner. Now, I probably wouldn't use this myself for oil paint. I definitely like this best for my acrylic paintings or for when I'm using ink tents. Those are, are my things that I'm going to this these water wells or these supplies for, I've been very, very happy with them, much more so than I expected to. I'm thinking, it's a water well. How fancy can it be? It gets these brushes so clean. I definitely can recommend it. And while, again, these these products were supplied to me by the manufacturer. If I didn't personally like it, I wouldn't make the video at all. So I definitely can recommend this. You see how dirty mine was. I've been using it all year. So yeah, these are, are definitely something I recommend checking out. And I will again have links in the video description.
and it's rubbery, so it kind of sticks on your head pretty well. Added bonus, top hat. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week.